Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hat. Without further ado, it's the Morning Gardeners Show. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's yours truly, the Morning Gardener. I am uh, thoroughly pissed off. I just finished uh, watching on YouTube a lot of um, gardeners, professionals and non-professionals, and they don't get it. Um, the types of gardens that traditionally uh, we're taught to, the methods that we're taught, uh, those type of gardens will work the absolute hell out of you. They will rob your wallet. It's always going to, just look at them, they always got you buying stuff. It's, it's a uh, uh, peat moss, uh, this chemical, that chemical, this, it's, you got to watch that because um, I have found a method that allows me to uh, grow as much or even more than the average person that is uh, growing a garden would grow and I'm not going to spend uh, any money at all. I mean, in fact, I was, I was talking about this in one of my earlier videos is that all of my gas power tools that I use in my garden uh, are, are going to be sold uh, on Craigslist or eBay or whatever because um, the, uh, the, the, that method of whenever the corporate world gets involved in anything, I always say, look out. And if you look at the way that people learn to to garden, and you learn it from books, and, and a lot of those are influenced by people who have to sell gas, who have to sell equipment, people who have to sell chemicals, people who have to sell all kind of potions to help your garden grow. And these people, and they're on the internet every day, and they know who they are. They are selling everything. They, they, they'll hold up a bag or something, or they'll say, uh, it can only be done this way. Got to look for little things like that. They're always pointing you towards purchasing something that they are uh, tied in with that helps uh, produce income for them. And, and don't get me wrong, I have nothing wrong with people who like to make a dollar, but let's be honest, you don't need seaweed from the ocean. Uh, one lady was um, adding volcano ashes to a garden um, and that was probably an arm and a leg to purchase because I mean you think about a, a she had a 40 pound bag it's got to be shipped uh, it's probably worth nothing where it came from but over here it could be worth 20 30 40 50 dollars even more so the and what one um it was one video a guy called something called Michael Ryzen uh, it's a it's a in my understanding of it is is that it is, it is a natural product that's supposed to be in soil. And it helps you to establish plants or trees a lot quicker. So I looked at that and I said, wait a minute. Isn't that already in soil? So why should I buy a bag of it if it's already in the soil? So I don't know. Um, so uh, I watch these videos on, on YouTube and I watch people digging holes and, and, and plowing stuff up and, and when you plow, I mean you are absolutely wrecking your soil. I don't care what no one says out there about plowing because my mind is made up and I'm pretty sure yours is too. You you, you know, you, some of you, most of you are older 21 years of age and you plow up the ground, you got tons of weeds later, your ground dries out, um, guarantee it does and you're spending money on bags of blood, bags of bone, uh, uh, a bone meal or whatever they call it. Uh, you're spending ashes, you're buying ashes. They got you buying seaweed ground up. They got you buying um, uh, rock dust. Um, one, one call it rock dust. Uh, you know, so all of these different, oh, and, and, and don't even get started with the chemicals because there's just too many chemicals even mentioned. You can't even, you can't even, you, you couldn't even, there's too many. So, I'm just thinking that uh, I'm going to show you a method of gardening this upcoming spring. It's, spring is right around the corner. And I'm going to grow everything I need and more. And I'm not going to spend, that's how much I'm going to spend. In case y'all don't know what that is, that's, that's, that's zero. That's zero is what I'm going to spend. 
Um, I'm making preparations now in my garden to grow what I need. And I'm going to, and I suggest to you, a lot of you, stop listening to all these people on, on these, these YouTube channels telling you, you got to purchase this. And one guy, one guy had a, a little device that you stab in the ground, you put a little uh, uh, fertilizer in a cartridge, and you screw it closed, and you cut on the water holes. Now, who in the, now, okay, okay, I got it. Somebody invented it because before they invented this, none of the trees were getting water. So, this guy or person invented this, and, and now, the, the, now there's more trees, or trees are actually surviving at a higher rate now. It doesn't make sense. So when I saw him do that, I said, wait a minute. Then it was one guy sprinkling around the canopy, underneath the canopy of a tree, some kind of uh, fertilizer. And he said, trees have got to have this. It's called 131313. And I thought, what? What did trees do before this? And then, then I looked at another gentleman. He was pounding spikes in the ground. And he said, you gotta do them every five feet around the canopy of the trees in order to get, the, so the tree would be healthy. I'm thinking, wait a minute. I have driven by uh, forests in my life, uh, trees along the highways, and I see big, beautiful, bright green trees that nobody is sticking uh, any, any stakes around them that supposedly bear to feed them. So I said, this is maddening, so I got out of it. I got off that treadmill, and I decided I'm done. I'm done with following these people on, on the internet, uh, it's on YouTube. Everybody's smiling, and they're saying, this is what you need in order to have a successful garden. And they're dead wrong. All you gotta do is look at their soil. In some of these shows, the soil is dry, uh, or they're using, they even trucking in perfect soil. And they're telling you that, uh, that you got to do this, 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 and and they're getting, and I'm watching some of the the, the amateurs. They're they're breaking even. They, they're not even. I mean, they'll show you a bush with like five tomatoes on it, and it might have cost them uh, five dollars for a bag of soil, uh, twenty two dollars for uh, some fertilizer. You know, that they're gonna stack away forty pound bag. Then they gotta buy uh, uh, another one called uh, something called. Um, uh, uh, it's like a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a powder, it comes in a powder. Um, but anyway, they're buying so much stuff and they're excited at the beginning of the year and people like that. Uh, that they sell you anything. They sell you anything, they want you to buy all of it. Just keep adding to your collection and keep buying and, and hope that you get that bumper crop one day and it's never going to happen. I'm sorry to say this, it's never going to happen until you do it the right way. You're going to have to find out what you're doing and I'm here to help you because my next videos that you will see up, I'm going to show you how to do what you need to do, and there won't be no double talk behind it. Thank you very much. This is yours truly, The Morning Gardener.